Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner. Oh, wrong hand. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. Right there. Okay, it's hard to do things backwards. Okay, forget that. <laughs> welcome! This is a surprise. Well, normally I do go live sometime on Friday and today it's later because I was working at my yoga job uh, most of the day. Let me fire up my computer and make sure I can check in with you if you're here. Um, don't worry if you're not and you're seeing this on the replay or on YouTube. That is totally fine. And I'm super happy uh, for you to find it there. You can still comment and um, like and love it there too. That is totally fine. And there I am. All right. So whether uh, you're here now or you're here later, it is so, so appreciated. Uh, seriously, I mega appreciate you uh, crafting and hanging out with me. So today, okay, if you've been in Stampin' Up! Land at all in the last two weeks, you have seen the... I didn't know how to write it. Strippy card, stripey card. It's strips of paper making cards. Now, here's the deal. The strip making thing has been around forever. A couple years ago, I'm pretty sure if you go on my YouTube, you could find a parquet, I think I called it the parquet, well, parquet, the floor. You know, that technique where the uh, stripes, they like overlap and go. And we were making those in class. Um, we've made sunburst cards. That is also similar. Um, same kind of thing. This is just the paper, instead of being exactly straight, it's more angled. And um, it kind of re-spurted with uh, Bruno Bertucci um, and Kylie Bertucci that he had bought this um, work of art and it had that kind of feel to it. And so he kind of copied it and made it into a card. So anyhow, that's a really long introduction um, about the card. But um, I want you to play with this. And before this, um, I do want to give my little teeny commercial for my Botanical Prints class to go. So you ready? We're going to, oops, hold on. Before I put the camera down, we are going to look down for a moment. So here is my Botanical Prints uh, class to go. The RSVP day is by April 1st. I would recommend sooner than later because what is Stampin' Up! can't ship out the supplies, right? So that's an important thing to consider. So um, the class will include, you will get all of the paper and the stamp and the elements and the ribbon in your product medley, this number, and you need to order with the host code. And then it's $12. And what that $12 gets you is the tutorial and all of the extra paper. Um, and what you're really gonna want is you're gonna want the tutorial on how to make this super adorable um, flip album. I know you want it. I know you want to make it. It's super cute. You know, you can't go out to the movies. You, you can't uh, uh, go to your friend's house, go to the bar, have a party. So you should make some cards. Uh, and this is the card we're going to make tonight with different paper. Um, actually, we're going to make something similar, but I've thought of a couple super cool ideas that I'm going to share with you. But this is the to-go class. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I don't even know you, um, it's super awesome. But the tutorial is 15. If you're on my team, you can buy the product kit yourself and it's $25 and I will send you all of the paper. If you don't need the paper, then you just buy the tutorial. And that's enough of this. Let's get started on today. So I'll put that on tray so I can get rid of it. Okay, so apparently, hey, there's friends. Hi, Darlene. Yay. Makes me so happy that on Friday at five, some people are around. Normally I do this at like three or four. So, but I've decided apparently when I make videos spontaneously, I play with this, uh, best dressed paper. I love it. And we're going to make a spring card. And I we, oh, dude, I'm so excited. I haven't even made it, but my head is telling me that it's awesome. So let's move that out of the way. So you're like, how do you make this strippy or stripey card? Um, oh, I need another piece of this. Oh, and with my handy dandy paper storage, let's see, hold on. With my handy dandy paper storage, I can just get out a half sheet of paper just like that. Okay. Um, so you need a card base. This is old olive I'm going to use first because I want to use, oh, did I lose the two pieces I wanted to use? I did. I can find them. I want to use this one and there should be a stripey yellow one. Um, I like the way the green really brings that green out. It says old olive. I almost feel like there's some mossy meadow in there too, but um, I want that piece and then I want one with the yellow stripes and then we'll, oh, here's the yellow stripe and we'll probably use something else. So you can make this as this side and then look, this side matches. Isn't that cool? Um, okay, so what you need though is a base to mount your paper on. And 
I like layers, as you probably know. So what we're gonna do is, we gotta cut this two different times. So first we're gonna cut one at five and a quarter. Okay, so we are just jumping right in. Five and a quarter by four. So that's my standard go-to on a card front. Okay, because we want that. And then we're gonna cut Hi, Randy. I know you like that paper, too. It's so pretty. And I don't know. I keep picking it when I do a little Facebook Live. And then we're going to cut this one to five because this is going to be the one we build on. And this, I'm telling you, I love the Bertucci's to death. They didn't make this up. We've been doing crazy things like this before. I've got lots of different tutorials that are similar. But I'm really glad when someone revives it and tweaks it and makes it fun. Okay, so this is five by three and three-fourths. Okay, and the reason of this, so let's see, so we're gonna have, and I'm going same color, because I like that feel, is this will layer on top of this, okay? And then this, let's fold this in half. Ah, oh. all right, let's fold this in half. So I'm gonna layer all of this on top, okay? You could do this middle layer in a different color, you could add a layer of white. You know, you can do things that you want, and that's what makes it creative. Um, we're going to work on this. So what we need, and you can use any kind of trimmer, although, you know, the joining offer is almost up. If you want this cute little mini trimmer, you should join my team. Um, we have a lot of fun. Okay, we have a lot of fun we can get together, but um, we'll be together soon. We'll have some online fun, I think. So what I'm going to do is cut uneven strips. So see how that, so, and you're going to laugh. This is hard for Audra sometimes because I like things to be square and straight. Um, but I'm going to cut some uneven strips of different amounts. Oops. Try not to get them too, too skinny. Uh, because, and see, yeah, because I ripped that. So I got to fix that. I'll just cut another one. I'll be cavalier with my paper today. Ah, it's, oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I'm not getting far enough down. Okay. I was like, I did this the other day and it worked just fine. So let's cut off that little bit. Now we're in business. All right. So. And it's up to you how many different um, colors. This one, I'm just going with um, the two different colors. But you can get as colorful as you want. You can do this with cardstock. You can do this with uh, DSP like I'm doing today. It's really the sky's the limit. And you can do it all different angles. I'll show you some. We won't do them all, but okay, that might be enough. And then let's cut this one. I see. There we go. So I'm just cutting the strips, and you can use your regular trimmer. Or, of course, if you have this cute little trimmer, you can use it too. And I'm just going to apologize now. You're going to get sticky fingers in this uh, process. Uh, to help with sticky fingers, I don't know. I think if you had a glue stick, you could do glue stick. I think that that would work. I kind of want a big one of that flower. Ooh, I like that. All right, and if we need more, we'll just cut more. Okay, because I'm going to use all the trimmers here. Hold on, i got stuff falling off my table. Okay, so next, this is our working piece right here. Let's see, I can zoom in just a little. Okay, um, so what you need is you need to put your pieces on. You can go... And what I like to do is pick one side to be my anchor. So you can go horizontally like this, and you decide how much space you want. Sometimes I've done uh, cards like this with no space. Sometimes I do them with a wide space. It's really up to you. Or you can go this direction. You can also go, so what we've done in the past, right? Everybody remembers, what's a sunburst card? It's the same. You have triangles. You could do a sunburst kind of feel. Like maybe they get, oh, I need a stripey one, farther and farther away. It's not pretty. And you could keep going. Um, the parquet ones I used to love to do, uh, you picked a starting point. So maybe like you're going like this and like, this watch this and you would um have to get it evenly you know you could put it under Ooh, we're gonna do one we're gonna do one half and half 
That's okay. That's my inspiration. Half and half. So uh, next, uh, do I have a silicone mat? Yes, I do. All right. So silicone mat's going to save my paper from getting how sticky is my silicone mat. I might, I think I'll be okay. I might need to clean it. Okay. So let's hope my glue has enough glue. So you need your multi liquid glue. Oh, you need some. Okay. So here, and here's my other tip. Uh, oh, wait, because I want to show you card B. All right, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do one later where I go half and half. But I had this cool idea of how to make a second card with the leftover. So I'm not going to do that today because I only want to make one card. Well, two cards. But because um, then I got to go walk my dog and eat some dinner. And guys, my boy is coming home tonight. He is at the gate. He's at the airport in Indianapolis. They closed the practice rooms. Um, so I'm a very nervous mom. Except for, I'm going to say, that perhaps his procrastination will pay off because everybody's being way more careful than they were like two weeks ago. So um, send good juju to Southwest Airlines and to my kid because he is traveling. He said the airport is pretty darn empty. And I was like, good. I'm very glad. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. But I'm sure he will get home safely and we are going to like... <laughs> fumigate him, wash him up when we get him home, um, and then clean all his, leave his stuff in the garage, clean him up, and I'll be happy to have him here. So, okay. All right, so we're putting paper on, and I'm attempting to only put glue where I need it, but, you know, the glue tends to have a mind of its own. So funny, I have to get very quiet and very still lay it down and you can decide how much space you want between them how wide you want them to be you want this one to be down here okay you do want them to be stuck down nicely but the nice thing about glue versus snail is you can move them a little bit. Da -da 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 I want the pink one. I want the pink one. So has anyone made one of these cards yet? Maybe you made one. It's super fun. If you like playing with paper and glue and stuff, which I do. I do. I do, I do. Okay, what do I need? I need stripe B. Are the stripes? Okay. Once I flip it over, I'm like, what color is on the other side? And I want it wide. Okay, and I hope my thing works out. My plan, my second plan. I hope that works out, like that I'm telling you about. If not, we'll still make one really nice card. Okay. Oh, I like that with the green. And see how I made one side as my um, head, my, you need one in that has a straight edge. At least I find that very helpful to have one end that is a straight edge. Do I want that one? I want one with some more of those, the big flowers on them. And see how you definitely have, see how there's extra that's going to hang off. But cutting from the 6 inch is my preferred uh, piece. So if your DSP is 12 by 12 or you're using cardstock, because it looks really nice too with just solid colors, uh, cut it down first. Okay, that one's straight. And then I think my next one, I definitely want some angles in there. Whoa, did you see that wiggle wiggle? This is so pretty, and it's so fun to do it all different ways, to really play with the colors and the patterns and see uh, what you like. And sometimes you will surprise yourself. I want more narrow, or maybe I want it wide. Mm. You guys, I think I'm going to rip you off. I think I'll sh make it with the other thing I have if it doesn't work out. Oh, okay, we're good. We are good. 
So look at that. Okay, and we're gonna let this dry for a couple minutes while we do a little bit of stamping. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, it's not pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna move this off to the side. I've already cut some circles and ovals because I wasn't sure what I wanted and I didn't wanna have to bring my big shot and all that stuff over here. Okay, so we maybe used this stamp set last week. This is the beautiful Friendship stamp set, which is an annual catalog, but I wanted it for this flower because this flower to me looks kind of similar. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it in petal pink, petal pink, petal pink. So what I was thinking is like an Easter card or a birthday card. Actually, I'm going to test it out. You like all my, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So petal pink across one edge of my oval. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay. And then, oh, oh no, I do have a green one. Okay. Did I get the right size? Yes. Cause I'm going to go, this is like all green with the, with the color and the thing. Okay. So now, could that be an Easter card? No, I don't know if that looks Eastery. I had this Easter greeting out no, I like it. I am going to do it. But I want to do, I do actually want to do it in black. I want to make sure you can see it. Let's close the petal pink. Good. Okay, so this says, this is from the tulip set, Timeless Tulips. It says, happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. And I just like that greeting. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay. So, and then I'm going to put this on the same color on some old olive. And then we're going to cut up our little piece of art and we're going to get to work. All right. So happy Easter, happy spring. Okay. So now we've got that and I'll set that off to the side. Okay. So we're going to hope that this is, is pretty dry. We're going to hope. And then we're going to bring in our trimmer. Now, here's the deal. You can do it with your slidey trimmer, but I would let it dry longer. Give it a little more time and go very carefully and hold it very steady. One nice thing about a guillotine one, I'm, you need your, this is why you want to keep a straight edge. One of the edges, I like to do that because it just makes it easier. Ah, it is going to work. I'm excited. So what I'm going to do is put that up. And, you know, really what I should have done, now that I'm thinking, this should have started the half an inch bigger because I want this. And you're going to see why. How sticky is that stuff? All right, it's not too sticky. Okay, so I'm going to cut. You're probably like, what is she talking about? It's because it's top secret. I'm going to cut this off. Ah, oh, Save this. This is my idea. Is We're going to use this on a card, and it is going to look super cool. Hopefully you didn't see that. I was getting a phone call. I was getting a phone call. Um, but I can't talk right now. Okay, and then we're gonna cut this off. And so we have a, it's a little sticky. We made, this plastic thing does come out so you could clean it if it gets too sticky. So I'm gonna try to just cut the edge off here. Make sure nothing's stuck on there. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna unstick it and turn it the other way. Off. Then, ooh, we could use that one too. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Guys, it's going to be a super cute second card with our leftover bits. Ooh, I like it. Now, I can now cut this edge off because I have a squared up card. If you want, you could also leave it, but see, I like that. Doesn't that look pretty? I don't even know what size it is, but we're going to see. So here is our piece, and here is our piece, and you know what? Look at that! I did pretty darn good for just looking. That looks pretty darn even to me. We're going to put this on. Hold on, my glue doesn't have its lid on. Okay, so now we're basically done. We've done the work for card one. So we're going to glue this on. 
It's kind of heavy, so I'm giving it a little extra snail. So first it's going on this piece. And I'm going to try to put it right in the center. There we go. Yay, there's more friends there here. Hi, friends. Welcome. All right, I put that on slightly crooked. Shh, don't tell anyone. They're not going to know. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Welcome to some, uh, what did I say, Friday Night Live. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, could be a happy hour. Did you know, I, I'm sure you've heard with this whole crazy coronavirus thing, you can like, I'm not even a drinker, but I'm very tempted to like go somewhere where I can get a margarita to go in a little tub. I don't know. I just think it's kind of interesting. Um, although if you're like in New Orleans when we went there, apparently you can get liquor to go there and just walk around the street. So here you can get it and take it home. But I'm just intrigued. Okay. Oh, I love it. All right. And then look at this. Ta-da! So I'm going to put this somewhere. Interesting. This is not petal pink. Does that bother me? No, it doesn't. But I will have to figure, I think that's Blushing Bride. I think I picked the wrong color. So I think when you have a lot of stuff, I am going to use dimensionals, which I did not get out. Let's see if I can reach them. I think when you have a lot of stuff, it's nice to just have something simple. Now, let's see, what do I got randomly laying around here? Could I do something? I don't think this one probably would go, but you could put a bunny on a circle and put a greeting across. I think that would work. Um, something else simple like that. Uh, you know, what else do I got here? I got an umbrella. Oh, that looks kind of cute. Um, you could do like, oh, what are the umbrellas? You had umbrellas going across and just a little uh, greeting. You could take black and emboss it in white. So there are things you could do. I don't know what else I have here. I have tulips. Let's see. What if you had your greeting and you had like a tulip on there or two? I think you could do that. You totally could. But could you also just leave it pretty simple? Yes, you could. And that works just fine. All right. So let's get this on. And then we're going to play with the second card. And then we're all going to go do our chores and or rest and chill out, whatever it is. Okay, so let's put this on. I could put it right in the center, but I'm kind of feeling like, nope, now I am feeling right in the center. Oh my gosh. Can I fix it? It's like slightly crooked. Okay, I tore the paper there. There we go, but I could send that to someone. That's a nice little spring um, Easter card. Okay, so here is where I'm getting excited, the fun. So we cut this little piece off. I'm trying to feel which ones are sticky. This one is a little bit sticky. But what if we made a card, because now I got the, so this is Purple Posy. Ooh, this color is so pretty. Okay, I have not put anything away, so, ah, here it is. This bone folder is so sticky from all the stuff I've been doing. I need to clean it. Okay, so what if, we had, okay, so I'm going to have to trim that down. I'm going to snip it with scissors. Try some green. A white, let's try a white card front. Yes. Hmm, let's, so when you don't measure, fold your paper evenly, you can fix it. Or you know what? Yeah, you just flip it over and find the part that looks nice. And what if top, bottom, middle, I think kind of lower, and I'm going to snip a couple of those. And we just made a little shelf, and we could, yes, stamp some flowers there. Where'd my flower stamp go? We're going to use, okay, so we don't have Purple Posy ink, all right, because Stampin' Up! had issues, quality control issues. So... What we do have, so we don't have the ink pad, but we have the blends and we have the Stampin' Write markers in color, purple posy. So there's a reason, like some people are like, oh, why do you need all the markers? Because they do different things. If you want to color on your stamp, you need a Stampin' Write marker. You cannot color on it with a Stampin' Blend because the Stampin' Blends are permanent. It, the ink won't even really come off. 
I don't think it will totally hurt your stamp, but you don't want to do it that way. And this is really light, so you can't see it, but we're going to hope that it colors. I like to use the paintbrush end, and I'm coloring all around. Okay, and in class, we wouldn't make this right now. Well, we don't have any in-person classes right now. I'm going to huff on this, so you can't see that. I'm going to blow on it. So, you know, I'm germing it up. It's my own. I'm going to wash it. And I have washed so much stuff. And don't worry, before classes start again, I am going to wipe down everything. Everything. We'll get a thorough cleaning. So when we're back in business, hopefully, hopefully by the end of April. I don't know. Early May. So I just hope that, um, you know, you and your families are all doing okay. I really do. And I hope, you know, we as crafters, I know we're busy with a whole bunch of other things. But if we can share some cards, ooh, that one was weird, but that's okay. Um, mail your cards. I'm going to like finish up some cards. I don't know. I might not get to it till Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm going to ride my Peloton for 75 miles. Um, so that's like three, four and a half, probably five hours because I'll take some breaks because otherwise your butt is just like hurting. Um, so maybe on Sunday, I'm going to make up some cards and have them ready to send out in the mail on Monday because we can send a little bit of joy, a little bit of love. Mm, what do you think? Do around, the, you know, I'm just going to go all the way around the edges. Good. So sorry, I didn't know I was going to end up doing all this coloring, but this is what happened. This is a lot of times how I, if I haven't pre-made the project totally, we just kind of wing it. And I think that's okay. What's our time doing? All right. So we're getting almost a half hour. We'll have this done. And, you know, we got to hang out for a little bit. And I'm super happy that you took some of your time and hung out with me. And I want one. No, I'm good. I'm good with that. Okay. So, here we go. So, <laughs> I'm going to put the block there. This and then this. And then this. Right here. And my greeting right there. Okay, so let's put the greeting on first. Okay, where'd my black ink go? Oh, and maybe I should move the extra piece because you know that things are gonna go poorly. And it's still slightly sticky. When it's, um, I'm gonna take my adhesive eraser super, super gently to it uh, later. So don't worry, I'm not gonna do it here. I'll show you in a second just like how to, Hmm. I don't like that greeting. What else do I got? Ah, let's just go happy birthday. I like this better. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, wash your hands for 20 seconds, right? That's the drill. All right, let's put this on. Okay, mm. glue dots? I think glue dots. No, snail, how about a combo? Do I have glue dots? Oh, I do. Okay, I think we're going combo city here. Uh, snips. And that side's really pretty too. So you can use either side, and I am going to trim some. So I just thought it looked kind of like pennants. And that they were hanging, oops, there's a glue dot that was missed. They were hanging down. And they were super cute, so I thought that that would be a fun way to use all of your stuff. Oh, I think just glue dots. Okay. And then we're going to put this right up there. And I should have lined this up. Can I still do it? Use your grid paper. Breathe. There we go, and I'm gonna snip this one because I don't like how it stays on. And could I put a glue dot under that? Yes, I'm gonna do that. So if they're flipping up a lot, you may want to do that. There we go, okay, and then I don't have any adhesive eraser here. What I would do is very gently, I get the, like I only have, this one has some and that one and the rest are good. Get some adhesive off, snail. 
And then you are good to go. You have super cute set of cards. Let me get it together and we'll look at them both. And then I'll send you on your way. Put it on right side up. That would be good. Could I add a layer of green behind this? Yes, that might look really cute. Could I add some leaves? You know, you could play with it, but I'm, I'm kind of happy. Isn't that a cute little card? So where's the other one? And look how different they look. Look at that. So there you go. Hi, Pam. Yes, so there you go. There are your cards. Oh, excuse me, I can't even breathe here properly. Well, actually, I can. I'm totally fine. <laughs> now it's so funny when you say something like that, you get worried. Um, but I am fine. Is my face okay? <laughs> so thank you so much for stopping by the Crafty Corner today. I'm super happy to craft with you. As always, you know where to reach me. Um, AudreMonk.StampItUp.net, AudreMonk at Yahoo.com. That's an email, right? Yes, at Yahoo.com. Um, check out my blog. Did you see my cute paper pumpkin alternate um, project? So that is really fun. Um, if you do have questions, comments, requests, let me know. And you know what? I will see you next time. Plan for some Sunday night crafting like normal, hopefully. Um, but yes, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay well. Be careful. Be happy. All those stuff. Stay crafty. And I will see you next time.